In this video, we shall refer to integer programming, branch and bound method. We shall come across linear programming problem in which some or all of the decision variables x1, x2 up to xn are restricted to be integers. In general, it is more difficult to solve this kind of problems than to solve linear programming problems which do not require any of the decision variables to be integers. In this series of videos, we shall first introduce the integer linear programming problems and then we shall present the branch and bound method. We learned how to solve linear programming problems by the simplex method. These are problems where the objective functions and constraints are linear and all the decision variables x1, x2 up to xn are all non-negative. They can take any non-negative real values. However, in many situations in the real world, we often come across problems that some or all of the decision variables can only be non-negative integers. For example, if you need to decide how many workers you should employ to maximize the profits, or if a decision variable represents the number of flights, we need to further impose the restriction to these decision variables to take only non-negative integer values. Linear programming problems in which some or all of the decision variables are constrained to be integers are called integer linear programming problems, abbreviated as ILP problems. In most cases, people and reference books simply refer to them as integer programming problems, omitting the word linear. In this series of videos, when we mention integer programming, it also means integer linear programming. There are several types of integer programming problems. If only some but not all of the decision variables are restricted to be integers, it is called a mixed integer programming problem. If all decision variables are restricted to be integers, it is called a pure integer programming problem. If the decision variables can only take integer values either 0 or 1, it is called 0-1 integer programming problem or binary integer programming problem. Let's consider the following illustrations. The following is the first scenario. Suppose a company has $1.5 million for investment in production. It has identified the following four types of products which it may or may not produce. Item 1 is face cream. It requires $5,000 for the company to produce a liter of face cream and a liter of face cream has a value of $8,000. Item 2 is hand cream. It requires $3,000 for the company to produce a liter of hand cream and a liter of hand cream has a value of $4,000. Item 3 is handbag. It requires $4,000 for the company to produce a handbag and each handbag has a value of $6,000. The fourth item is luxury watch. It requires $8,000 for a company to produce one luxury watch and each luxury watch has a value of $11,000. The company would like to maximize the total value of this investment. Based on the limitation on the capital the company has, the company needs to decide how much of item 1 and item 2 that it should produce and how many items 3 and 4 it should produce so that the total value is maximized. Therefore, we can formulate the problem as follows. Let x1 and x2 be the amount of face cream and hand cream to be produced 
and let x3 and x4 be the number of handbag and luxury watch to be produced respectively. If x1 liter of face cream and x2 liters of hand cream are produced, the investment cost will be 5000 x1 plus 3000 x2. If x3 number of handbags and x4 number of watches are produced, the investment cost will be 4000 times x3 plus 8000 times x4. This total investment cost should be at most $1.5 million. Thus, we get the constraint as follows. The company wishes to maximize the total value, which accordingly will be a linear function, namely Z equals to xx1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 plus 11x4. In this problem, all x1 up to x4 are non-negative. If xi equals to 0 when Z is maximized, it means that the company shouldn't produce item i. Besides, among all these decision variables x1 up to x4, the value of x1 and x2 can be any non-negative real numbers, whereas x3 and x4 only take integer values. Therefore, we impose the restriction that x3 and x4 has to be integers. Since some but not all the decision variables are restricted to be integers, this is a mixed integer programming problem. Let's refer to scenario 2. Suppose we have $1.5 million for investment. We have identified stocks from four companies which we may or may not invest. Stock number one requires $5,000 per share as an initial investment and it has a future value of $8,000 per share. The information of the other three types of stocks are listed accordingly. Based on the limitation on the capital we have, we need to decide how many shares of stocks from each company we should purchase so that the total future value is maximized. Therefore, we can formulate the problem as follows. Let xi be the number of shares of the i company to be purchased. Then the total purchase price of these four stocks will be 5000x1 plus 3000x2 plus 4000x3 plus 8000x4. This total amount should be at most $1.5 million. Thus, we get the constraint as follows. We wish to maximize the total future value, which accordingly will be a linear function, namely Z equals to xx1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 plus 11x4. In this problem, all the decision variables are non-negative. If xi equals to 0 when Z is maximized, it means that we shouldn't purchase stock number i. Besides, all decision variables x1 up to x4 can only take integer values. Therefore, we impose the restriction that x1 up to x4 are integers. Since all the decision variables are restricted to be integers, this is a pure integer programming problem. Finally, let's refer to scenario 3. Suppose again we have $1.5 million for investment. This time we have identified four properties which we may or may not invest. It requires $500,000 to purchase property 1, and it has a future value of $800,000. The information of the other three properties are listed accordingly. Based on the limitation on the capital we have, we need to decide which properties we should purchase and which properties we shouldn't, so that the total future value is maximized. 
Therefore, we can formulate the problem as follows. Let xi represents the decision on whether or not the i property is to be purchased. We use 1 to indicate that we purchased the i property and 0 to indicate that we do not purchase the i property. Then the total purchase price of the properties according to the decisions will be 500,000 x1 plus 300,000 x2 plus 400,000 x3 plus 800,000 x4. This total amount should be at most $1.5 million. Thus, we get this constraint. We wish to maximize the total future value, which accordingly will be this linear function. In this problem, all the decision variables x1 up to x4 are non-negative. In particular, they only take integer value either 0 or 1. Therefore, we impose the restriction that all x1 up to x4 takes only integer values 0 or 1. This can be further formulated as follows. We impose the restriction that all xi are less than or equal to 1. All xi are non-negative and all xi are integers. This is equivalent to having the restriction that all xi takes only integer values 0 or 1. This is a 0, 1 integer programming problem or binary integer programming problem.